In my last video, I showed you how to build a Dactyl Manuforum keyboard. Now I'm going to show you how to program it. Hello everyone and welcome. To program the keyboard, we are going to use the QNK software. QNK is Quantum Mechanical Keyboard. It's a community dedicated to develop devices such as keyboards, mice, and MIDIs. And you can find the link in the video description. In this page, you can find all the documentation necessary to custom your keyboard, such as a script, combos, RGB lights, and for the later, you can manipulate the lights, you can create or activate the effects of the RGB lights. First of all, I'm going to show you the easiest way to program your keyboard. We go to Setup, and then we go to the section of QM Key Toolbox, and then we download the latest release. Here we look for the Windows installer. We execute the downloaded file and then you are going to see a Windows warning. This is because the software is not correctly signed, but we can go and execute it anyway. Now you will see a new warning. The installation is the common one. You only need to click on next, next, next and end. We left the launch QM key toolbox market and then click on finish. This is the software and is very easy to use. We are going to left it open while we are going to download the configuration. In the QMK web page, we are going to the configuration section. Now we click over the picture and a new page will be open. In the drop down menu, we are going to look up for our keyboard. It is called Handwire Dactyl Manuforum 4x5. And below, we are going to see our keyboard distribution. Here we can change the color and style of the keyboard. It's nice to see different colors for the keyboard. Here in the top, we can name it our key map. Let's call it Karastek. Now here you can see the keys distribution and also you can change the layers to see the keys that are in each of the layers. The layer 0 or base layer contains all the QWERTY distribution and also shows in some keys special characters and symbols. In the thumb keys, you can see double keys. This means when you press quickly with your thumb, it's going to perform one action, and when you hold the key, it's going to perform another different action. And in this key, you can see the layer key. For example, here is the layer number one, and here is the layer number two. And if you click here in the number one, you can see the keys distribution for the layer one. You can see keys to control the mouse and the arrows and some other keys. The keys that has a triangle shape means that they are going to use the under layer. In this case, the base layer. These keys are normally used for the thumb keys. In the layer 2, we have all the function keys, the numbers and the symbols above of the numbers. Now we are going to customize the keyboard with our own preferences. In each key, over the top left corner, there is a small X. You can click it to remove the key assignation. You can also drag and drop the keys. I'm going to remove these keys assignations to show you how to configure them from scratch. In the section below, we have a keyboard. So we are going to drag and drop a key to assign it in our keyboard. As you can see here, our key is assigned. To have a double key, I'm going to go to the quantum tab and look for the mod key. These keys combinations are going to perform like you are pressing two keys at the same time. For example, you can configure a key to do Ctrl C, another key to do Ctrl B. I'm going to drag and drop a couple of these keys to show you how to configure them. Now I'm going to the ANSI tab and select a key and put it inside of the other key. And now I have a key that performs Ctrl C and another key that performs Ctrl B. This is why I love this keyboard, because it's so cool that you can configure everything. Now I'm going to use these new keys that has an underscore T. This means when you press and hold the key, it's going to perform one action. And when you press quickly the key, it's going to perform another different action. Now I'm going to drag and drop the delete key. Now I have a key to do two different things, control and delete. For this one, I'm going to drag and drop the end key. In each of these tabs, you are going to find different types of keys, the combination keys, the special keys, and the multimedia control keys. 
you can find several keys, for example, to move the mouse, to do a scroll, to uh, up or down the volume, everything that you want to do. And you can put any key in any layer. You can configure up to 50 different layers, but it's going to be very difficult to remember all of those keys. Here we can save our configuration in a JSON file. We can upload this file the next time to continue our configuration. Once we have our desired distribution, we are going to go here and click on Compile. And then you are going to wait for the baking potato. Once the potato is cooked, we can download the file. In the bottom left side, we can download the firmware. We click Exit in this warning and then our file is download downloaded. This is the file that we are going to use to configure our keyboard. Now in the Q&K we are going to click Open and find the file that we just downloaded. We left this field as default. Right now it says 80 mega 32 u 4 This is our microcontroller for the Pro Micro. We are going to check the Auto Flash option. This means when we connect our keyboard and reset them, it's going to start programming it. Now let's prepare our keyboard. First of all, I'm going to disconnect the two halves. Please be sure that the USB is disconnected first. In my case, I have the USB cable disconnected from the computer. Now I'm going to connect the first half to the USB port. Now I'm going to press the reset button. And you can see that the software is start to flash in the microcontroller. This process is very fast and then when it's finished you can disconnect it. Now we are going to do the same thing with the second half. As you can see we are going to use the same file to program the both halves. Now I press the reset button and wait. Now we are going to uncheck the out of flash option to avoid further flashes. And again, please be careful to disconnect first the USB cable before you connect the two halves. So in here I disconnect the USB cable and I'm going to connect our curly cable to join the two halves. If you left the USB cable connected, you can damage your keyboard. Now I'm going to connect the USB cable to the right half. And now the computer immediately rec recognizes my new keyboard. In the QNK configuration web page, there is an option to test our keyboard. We are going to start testing our new keyboard. As you can see, there is something wrong. When I press the keys with my right hand, the left keys are showing up. What is going on? This happens because this type of configuration configures the left side as the masters. So the USB cable should be in the left side. I'm going to move the, ca the USB cable from the right side to the left side to have a correct use of this keyboard. And now it's working perfectly. I press the keys and the correct keys are showing up in the screen. We can test all the keys that we configure, the spacebar, the enter, the left shift, the backspace, etc. I found another issue. I press the layer key but another key is showing up in the screen. This happens because there is something wrong with the configuration in the web page for this type of keyboard or in the wiring diagram that I used. So these keys are inverted. To solve this, one option is to rewiring these four keys. Or the another option is to change the configuration files. I'm going to show you how to do it in the next video. Another option is to invert the key assignment for the keys that have the issue. For example, I'm going to put the layer keys in these positions and as you can see, they are in the different position as the physical ones. As you can see, I redistribute all the keys to be in different columns.
I repeat the process of compile the files, bake, uh, wait for the baking potato and then reflash the microcontrollers as I already told you. And now we are going to test it again to see if every key is working as I expected. And as you can see it's already working as I expected so this is very good. So I have a new keyboard. Now to use the layers I press and hold the layer key and then the rows to, in this case, where the function keys are or the numbers or the symbols and as you can see it's working perfectly this is awesome ok, I hope you liked the video and your new keyboard please subscribe, give me a like and we'll see you in the next video goodbye